All right, activate Prosperity. We got Lone C versus Quentin D. Labyrinth versus Runic Chimera. Go ahead, banish, and then look at the top cards. Okay, so Labyrinth is a pretty good deck. They are playing Prosperity, though. Not Extravagance. Gamba. Nope, I'm not doing a Gamba. But they're going to go ahead, banish... Not playing Extravagance, so no Furniture. And then go ahead, look at the top six. We got two Lord of Heavenly Prison. Strike, Karma Cannon, Super Poly, Stovey, Torby. Also, everything looks so high rarity. Besides Prosperity. Yeah, besides Prosperity. And then... I think I saw Strike in their hand. Oh... Okay, so they're taking Lord of Heavenly Prison. Yeah, I think I saw Strike in their hand. It looked like an ulti trap. Activate Lord of Heavenly Prison effect. Go ahead. Set four cards very skillfully. And then pass turn. Nice. Okay, so now Quinton D is on Runic Chimera. So the Runic cards are good in the back row cards. And Chimera, you know, Guardian Chimera, good in the back row cards. Not against Lord of Heavenly Prison, though. But they're going to go summon Hugin. And then... Hugin, discard Chimera Fusion. Chain. Oh, that was the ulti trap I saw. Skill Drain. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's a lot better than Strike right here. Infinitely better. Assuming that they don't have any way to... Stop this. I was going to say, like, a Destruction on Skill Drain would be really good. Ah... Yeah, uh, the rip capybara. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good time to use that rip. Okay. Oh, that's Branded Fusion. Okay. That looked like Destruction for a second. But activate Branded Fusion. Go ahead, dump. Also, this Quinton person looks kind of familiar. But I don't, I don't think it's the person I'm thinking of. But they're going to go ahead, dump, bring out Rinbrum. And then activate Gazelle Effect to go search. Go search out Cornfield. Sure. Uh, locked in the fusion, so they can't link off. But it's not like there'd be anything good to link off into here anyways. So, Cornfield Effect go search. Yup. Rinbrum could go ahead and attack directly. Get some damage in. Decent damage in. They already took a 1,000 off skill drain too, so they're up in life. Uh, Cornfield, go search Sword Knight, activate Runic Tip, go search, uh, go search Fountain if they don't have it, which they probably don't because they started with Summon Hugh and use the effect. I see Frieza in their hands, Sword Knight, and a spell. Uh, can't because of Runic spells. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. True that, true that. There is just simply no battle phase. Okay, go ahead, grab Fountain, make him banish Prosperity. So we saw Stovey in their deck earlier, but that's probably the only Stovey in their deck. It's probably just a one-of. A lot of trap builds played as a one-of for Chaos Angel. But activate Fountain. And then... Gosh, okay. So they just have to hope that Fountain goes through and they can start drawing a bunch of cards. If they can start Runic banishing tons of cards from the opponent's deck, that would be insane. Like a Slumber here for three would honestly be nice. Stovey Torber. Nah, 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 nah. Stovey Torby. Torby. Because I, I forget the song, but there's the NLE Choppa song that says Torby in it. So you can you can listen to that while playing Labyrinth. But, yeah, they're just calculating their plays here. Oh, it looks like Branded Fusion as the other spell card. So does that mean it's Freezing in Hand, Branded Fusion, and Sword Knight? But okay, so they're just passing here. And then they're thinking at end phase what they want to do. Oh, okay, so they're going to activate Flashing Fire. Uh, so yeah, Labyrinth can play Flashing Fire. Because uh, you can use it as a trap card. You know, even though it's a spell. You don't really need your battle phase in Labyrinth. Uh, you can use it to summon Hugin to protect from Lightning Storm and Harpies. You can use it to summon Fangs, a level 4, and then use that plus Ariana to then go ahead. Also, 
This player has two banish piles, but you can also go in the Fangs, the level 4, and then use that plus Ariana to make Gallant, Gallant Search Lord of Heavenly Prison, stuff like that. Okay, so... Yeah, Flashing Fire, Pop, Summon Out Lord of Heavenly Prison, Set from the Deck, Pass. Pretty good for them. Uh, first time here, watch a lot of your videos on YouTube. Rare Parrot. What's up? What's up? Do they make players sign a waiver for being on cam? Uh, probably. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know how it would work in France. I know in the States, I'm pretty sure that, like, whenever you sign up for the tournament... Actually, it's the same for Europe. Yeah, whenever you sign up for a tournament, you, like, already sign the waiver for it. But normal summon Ariana, Ariana effect, go search, and then they're thinking, I mean, they're under skill drain, so, I was gonna say, you can't, you can't chain freezing there, because it's already being negated, so you won't be able to freezing to do anything, and you can't freeze in special summon, they can't freeze and negate, they can't freeze in special summon, so it doesn't look like any of their cards are actually doing anything here. But they're going to activate Big Welcome, go summon, bounce back. And the Ariana will resolve since it's not on field to be negated by skill drain. So now they're going to search out a Welcome Labyrinth. Alright. May have been a decent spot to grab a Furniture. But I don't hate grabbing Welcome there. But yeah, Stovey may have been pretty good there. In case Skill Drain gets outed, then that card gets a little bit better too. But try to pass. End phase, they're not going to be able to freeze in. You know, they realized it. Hugin never got beat over because they had to skip their battle phase because of their runic flashing fire. So now end phase, freezing, which you can't do. Yup, they're letting them know they can't activate freezing to negate because skill drain. Yep, can't negate something that's already negated. Cool, okay. So, pass. They drew, oh, they drew super poly for turn. Super poly being very good. They do have sword knight. Trying to think, how can they do this? They can go like summon sword knight, effect, tribute, summon big winged, big winged effect. Chain Super Poly, Fusion Off, Go Summon, Resolve Big Wings, Search Gazelle, Chimera Fusion. We know that they have Freezing, so that clears up the extra monster zone to activate a Runic spell to Fountain Draw. Okay, uh, well, at least attempt Fountain Draw because they will be able to stop it with the Big Welcome Labyrinth. Yeah, and they probably would. So they're just going to go set Super Poly. And then... Looks like they want to pass. Quinton do be playing a little bit slow though. Cannot lie. I cannot lie. Oh, also... Oh, no, no, okay. It is on 1.2 times 5 speed. Okay. Well. Let's go... End phase. Activate Welcome. Chain Lady. Chain Big Welcome. Bounce Back Lady. So, Lady Resolves, go ahead, set a trap from the deck. That can set Eradicator. Yeah. Wow. Yep, they main deck the Eradicator. Go ahead, set Eradicator, and then Welcome's gonna resolve to go summon. And then... Yeah, they play Ku Clock in their decks. Probably just the one Ku Clock, one Stovey. But Ku Clock's played, so that way you can, like, you know, resolve a trap right away. But, yeah, it doesn't... Can't tell what they're gonna summon. They're gonna summon Lovely. Okay, they also play Lava Golem in their main deck. But summon out Lovely. Set Eradicator. Uh, next turn. Okay, they're gonna summon Lady. I was gonna say this turn if they wanted to. They could also just go like Lovely effect. Try to set Welcome. Chain Eradicator. Tribute Lovely. Not horrible. They do have Super Paul that they could activate to get rid of two. But you could also wait for them to Eradicator Tribute one, and then activate Super Poly. Oh, wait. Um, 
No, because you know they have Ariana. I was going to say, because you could super poly using both the fiends, both the labyrinths, and then they won't be able to activate. Oh, wait, no. They would be able to because Lovely didn't set anything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, maybe I will get Twitch Turbo, okay? Let, let me look up. How much is Twitch Turbo? How much is Twitch Turbo? Cost twelve dollars a month to subscribe to Twitch Turbo. Um, you also receive longer storage space, sixty days instead of fourteen, for your Twitch channel vods. Wait, they stay longer than fourteen days anyway. So, you block origin. Hold on, let let me let me look at that. You block origin. Okay, okay. Do I go to their website for that? I mean, I'm not going to do it right now, but do I go to their website for that? But switch lady to attack. See, this is this is what Konami's made me do. Now I got to get an ad blocker. Cuz they won't they won't let me subscribe to them. You block doesn't stop Twitch ads though. Oh, oh, that's that's unfortunate. That's all I want it for. Go ahead, Super Poly, discard Branded Fusion, summon a Garua using Lady Lovely when they were trying to go for game. Okay, um, you could be over Garua and then Eradicator. Yeah, they're reading over Rinbrum. That can summon back itself or the Fallen of Albaz. Two minute YouTube video shows you how. Yes, it does. I get no ads on Twitch with you blocked. You just have to set it up right. Um, uh, but okay, there's about 31 minutes left. So, yeah, Rinbrum, Banish, Summon Fallen of Albaz. Just as a body, or are we do we have destruction in our hand? Nope. Okay, just as a body. Oh, so we didn't want to beat over Garua. Okay. I was going to say, could have beat over Garua and then activate Eradicator. And you pretty much discard whatever they draw unless it's a monster. But freezing to go special. Um, they're going to chain Eradicator. Call spells. So hit freezing and fountain. They won't, they won't even be able to chain that because it's in response to freezing. But also skill drains face up anyways. Yeah. Yep, they discarded from hand. Yeah, Hugin's no... It's not even on field yet. It wouldn't even matter if it is. There is skill drain. This Quinton player plays so slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, send all that. And then... I guess they could link off, get Garua effect to draw. But they probably have to discard whatever they draw anyways because they got hit with Eradicator. And the, anything that they do is going to be stopped because skill drain. They don't have big body access. They didn't summon Rinbrum anyways. They summoned Fallen of Albaz. They could have went Fallen of Albaz. Try to, you know, beat over Ariana. Well, I guess you wouldn't be able to beat over. But you can switch it to attack. So that way it can't get beat over. Activate Big Welcome Labyrinth now. Go summon Bounce Back. And then that's good to get access to. That can help us beat our own skill drain. But yeah, they're going to summon out a Stovey Torby. And then bounce back Stovey Torby. And then welcome effect to set itself. And then Stovey Torby discard itself plus Ariana. Go set the last big welcome. Yeah, they probably don't play field spell. At least in the main deck. But go ahead, set that. God, so good. Uh, and then... They drew. Yeah, I just put in a single line of code for it. Yup. Oh, nice. Okay, but activate Welcome Labyrinth here. Go ahead, summon from Duck. And they should still have a lady, right? No, well, actually, it looks like they had another lady in Duck, too. But Welcome goes summon out lady. And then Ariana beat over Hugin. 
And they're gonna bounce back Rua. We don't have to bounce back Rua. Because if they draw a spell, they lose it anyways, but... Yeah, if they draw monsters, they don't do anything because skill drain. But they just go ahead and scoop there. Okay, so going on to the next game now. We can skip ahead in the game two. We're going to get to see Runic Chimera decide. Now, Runic Chimera, hopefully we'll see destruction next time. Hopefully skill drain doesn't get flipped as fast. Okay, but on to this game now. They want to activate Flashing Fire, Chain Shifter. So stopping them from getting Runic access extremely fast and stopping them from getting Chimera stuff going extremely fast. So very good Shifter. I also saw TC Boo in the Runic Chimera hand. Yeah, so Banish Flashing Fire. And then they can get Hugh in effect. This card goes Search Fountain if they want it. Yeah, discard, go search, fountain. You're gonna need that live eventually. I see the shufflers in their deck. Those would have been decent in this matchup. Not not very good though, cause you're not playing against furniture lab, you're playing against trap lab. But activate fountain and then pass. Yeah, the fountain is live for Quentin's draw phase, or I guess as an interruption on this turn if they needed it. But Banish Hugin, Fountain, keeping the set card. Keeping the set card rather quickly, too. But now go Prosperity to Banish 6. And then look at the top 6. Yeah. I don't know what else Labyrinth has in hand, but that was already a really strong start. Like, evenly plus Shifter. Wiping the Fountain away. Uh, Runic Chimera only having, like, one card in hand now. Yeah, so Prosperity Banish 6, there's 22 minutes, 22 seconds. I feel like Activating Fountain was such a misplay, like there's no way it's correct to play it. Yeah, it, it's like probably not correct to activate it, which is why I was saying like they're activating it to make it live in their standby phase, which is not that great. Um, but Prosperity, look at the top 6, and then it happened to play into the evenly there too. Uh, you may as well set destruction if that was your play. But they're gonna grab Ariana. Or it looks like that's what they want to grab. I mean, they have D Barry. That's like not bad against the opponent's duck. They could try to stop Hugin next turn. Could try to stop their Chimera plays, but grabs the Ariana. All right, all right. And that normal Ariana, Ariana effect, any response, then why would you chain TC Boo to Ariana effect? It it doesn't special summon from deck, it searches from deck. Make it make sense. <laughs> what if they were to search Lady there and like what if they used Lady Effect? Then you could have chained TC Boo and stopped them. But, like, now they just search what they want to search accordingly. And now they're going to go Lord of Heavenly Prison, set three pass, including a big Welcome Labyrinth. Um, okay, so now... Quentin has no battle phase this turn. They're going to go Summon Sword Knight, Effect, Tribute it, go Summon, and then that Effect... That also goes through, no Psalm Strike, no Skill Drain, uh, Big Wing Search, Gazelle, Chimera Fusion. Yeah, this stuff resolving is really good for them. Activate Chimera Fusion, go up into the King, and then go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3. So, rip one during the end phase, Special Summon back out Sword Knight, Search, Search out Cornfield, and then... Cornfield effect, discard, go search. Okay, grab out Sword Knight. Uh, yeah. Activate Flashing Fire to special summon now. Summon out Hugin. Uh, yeah, Fairy Illusion. Beast. Discard, go search Fountain. And then... Activate the fountain. Yeah, Chimera Fusion add back. Yep, grab that back. 
Okay, okay. And then... They can't summon SP. So they're just gonna go ahead and pass through. So end phase, activate Karma Cannon to set the field. Well, I guess end of main phase two, whatever. Uh, Cause they do get to rip during the end phase with King. So we're trying to take the Lord of Heavenly Prison out of our hand first. Also like setting that stuff's pretty good. Uh, stops them from getting their interruptions with it. Like Sword Knight, um, Cornfield. Stops the Sword Knight from being able to attack out to go summon to put them further ahead. But Summon Lord set Tears of the Overroot from the deck. Tears of the Overroot is an out to TC Boo. They can just out it and then set one back from their graveyard. And then, okay, activate Big Welcome Labyrinth here. So I'm not sure exactly how we're doing this. Okay, they're gonna chain destruction on the Tears of the Overroot. Sure, I guess just trying to banish like Lovely from the deck at this point. It's also kind of nice that Karma Cannon made the big welcome live because it said it, but nope, does not hit Lovely from the deck. So summon Lovely, bounce back. Whatever we bounce back will be getting discarded though. Because of the king. Well, they never bounced back. Okay, but... Fountain 1. Lovely 2. Wait, why... Why is the opponent putting back? Are we not lovely popping? We never even bounced with it, to be fair. Okay, so we are popping it. So they don't draw. Yeah. And then they're gonna bounce back. So they're acting as if Fountain was cost. Okay, yeah, no. Yep, yep, yep. Those stay in Graveyard. Fountain 1, Lovely 2. Yup. Do they not get shuffled back to the bottom of the deck for cost? That is correct. Okay, and now End Phase King Rip. Nope. Okay, so yep. I was about to say they forgot about it. Uh, but nope, they did not forget about it. They almost did. Very, very close. And now we can go activate Big Welcome Labyrinth. Banish to bounce. Uh, that could just bounce like King. And then pop Sword Knight. I actually wouldn't hate that at all. Bounce King. Pop Sword Knight. That takes away infinite from them. And they have Lovely that can set Tears of the Overroot, which eventually outs TC Boo. So they don't really have to worry about that. They can beat over the Hugin. Actually, leaving it there is probably better for you anyways. Because if you beat over it, then... Okay. We want Big Welcome. Bounce back. Can you even bounce back? You can't even bounce back a set Ariana, right? Doesn't it say target one fiend you control, or if you control a level eight or higher fiend, you can target one card the opponent controls, not one card on the field. So I don't think you can bounce back Ariana there, but I also don't know why you would. Bounce back Ariana there over bouncing back the king. But lovely ghost set tears of the overroot. And then pass turn. Okay, um, so do we pop Sword Knight here in like draw phase or something? Because once they flip King, Cornfield's live, Tears of the Overroot's not live, Sword Knight's live, Chimera Fusion's gonna be live. God, they could have played that last turn so much better. Go ahead, Tears of the Overroot to set their Cornfield and out that. Yep, out Sword Knight, set Cornfield, sure. And then, lovely effect to pop. I guess we could pop King. I was gonna say, I guess we could pop King, and then they can't add back Chimera Fusion, but also adding back Chimera Fusion is not very good here. Doesn't really do that much. Okay, yeah, so you pop the card in the hand, you out Sword Knight. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is good. It's not outing TC Boo yet, though, sadly, but it's still good. So add back, and then 
pass turn. We could attempt to crash, and then it puts king in the graveyard. What does that give us, though? I guess we could, okay, activate Chimera Fusion, sure. Go up in the Burfoment. And then activate Burfoment effect to go dump. And then that puts the king into the graveyard. So, what, what do they play to dump? Do they play the end of the Anubis or anything? No, they don't. Okay, just go dump Sword Knight. And then, there's only 11 minutes, 45 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I guess every time an ad pops up, it gives me time to look into an ad blocker more. Okay, you block origin. Yeah, you can get it. Okay, okay. Open source ad blocker. Sweet. Okay, yep. I am going to be getting the ad blocker soon, which sucks because I didn't want to have to get an ad blocker, but gosh darn it. These ads are just too much. It's like 30 seconds worth of ads every 10 minutes. I just want a, a favorite fruit. I don't even have a favorite fruit. I don't even have a favorite fruit. Or a vegetable or anything like that. Ad block, best thing ever invented, not gonna lie. Um. Okay, pass. Lovely reset something. Yup, go ahead. I mean, it could just, like, reset. Tears of the Overroot, but they're gonna Sword Knight to stop it, sure. I guess... Oh, wait. I didn't even think about that last turn, but actually, if we activate a Trap card, they can't stop it. Because we have Lovely. So, they're gonna go End Phase here, King... Summon out Sword Knight, Sword Knight, Tribute Go Summon, bring out Big Wing, Big Wing Effect, go search Chimera Fusion. Wait, oh, true, they can't summon Performant, because TC Boo. That's right, that's right, okay. Oh, that's so much worse, though. Gazelle in the Chimera Fusion? I mean, obviously, it's what they have to do, because TC Boo, but that's obviously so much worse. Okay, pass, they have Chimera Fusion that they can add back. Um, yeah, if Quinton wins this game, the, and there's still time for game three, then Quinton, like, auto win game three, because the runic cards will say gang a thousand. Netflix uses ads also, and you even play monthly for that. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 I don't, I don't even watch Netflix. I don't even watch Netflix, or Hulu, or anything like that, to be honest. No oh, cap. But I, I used to I used to watch Hulu a lot more, but not really now. I'm not really watching like any TV shows at all. If I watch anything, I can watch like basketball. But you can also just watch that for free online, like NBA and stuff. You can always watch that for free. I don't see how Camara wins this. Yeah, it's it's gonna be extremely hard for Camara to win this. Like, Labyrinth would just have to have, like, a bunch of not-real cards. Like, an infinite amount of not-real cards. No shot, my dog is out here raw dog in life with just binging Dueling Book. Oh, true, true. I also play a lot of Dueling Book. So, like, that just, like, saves time from, like, doing other things like Hulu and Netflix. Like, instead of watching a movie, I could just, like, play DB and have, like, another tab of DB open. Just, like, have two DBs open at the same time. Uh, it doesn't make sense to pay where you can watch either way. Um, grats on another site. Oh, for, like, the NBA stuff? Yeah, StreamEast.io is the goo for the NBA. Or really anything. Really any big thing. Like, boxing to... Yeah, DBG, are you going to be doing any testing on DB soon with Valiant Smashers? I have I have been testing on DB post Valiant Smashers already, but oh they have double Ariana in hand yeah they can't use either of them because TC Boo. 
NFL, bite for football, both pro and college. Yeah, I think I don't I don't know if streamEast.io stream does college basketball. I have no idea. Or college football. I have no idea. I don't I don't watch football, so I don't really pay attention to it. Century on pre-sale prices are crazy to me. Wanted to play the deck. Yeah, I don't know what the prices are exactly, but I saw that tons of them were like ultras and stuff. So I can only imagine. They're going to perform at Summon King. Ah. Well, I guess you... Wait. You can't even Summon King there, right? Um. Okay. Well, they're going to strike... And then set Tears of the Overroot off lovely. And then Chimera Fusion to go up into the king. Which, once again, can they even... Let me look at... What is king? What is king's type? A am I dumb here? Let me just... TCG player. Uh, Chimera the king. Yeah, it's a beast. Yeah, they can't do any of that. Yeah, I was just making sure. Yeah, because they tried the performance summon back out King from the Banished, which they couldn't do because they had Gazelle on field, and they activated Chimera Fusion using a beast to fuse into a beast, which they also can't do. Okay, yep, they're catching it now. So, like, yeah, there was just, like, this player is just, like, not respecting their own TC Boo at all. Like, at all. Five Ultras. God, yeah. Five Ultras is a lot. Especially for a set like this. There's only like 50 cards in it. Mr. Gaming Streams, hands down the goat for streaming stuff. Mr. Gaming Streams, hands down the goat for streaming stuff. I don't even know who Mr. Gaming is. Um, but... Okay, they're reading over Fallen of Albaz in their hand right now. Seeing that they can make a Lubellion. Okay, so once again... This this keeps happening with their with their main camera where it freezes like this and then it comes back. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wish that these regionals didn't live stream and that they just recorded instead. Some places don't have like good enough setups to live stream, but they have a good enough setup to record. They're gonna send gazelle set cornfield. Okay, are we just doing that so that okay no set fountain. Okay, okay. And then we can get lovely effect to pop. Pop TC Boo. There's only 3 minutes and 50 seconds left. Activate Welcome Labyrinth now. They don't have another TC Boo. Wow. Okay, so go ahead and summon. Yeah, because that, that's how Chimera ended up winning this game. It's just time. But it's not looking too good for them now for time. Stovey discards self plus Ariana. Set big welcome. Yeah, Labyrinth's playing fast here too. They know what needs to be done. So go ahead, set that, and then draw for turn. They have lovely effect to set from the graveyard. Reset Tears of the Overroot. That card's gone crazy this game. Um, normal summon Ariana. Ariana effect to go search. Okay. Um, they're going to grab Ku Clock off that. That's fine. Just attempt to say battle phase. They activate Chimera Fusion now. Sure. Are they going to chain Ku Clock from the hand? Gosh, stop freezing, please. I want to see the gameplay. They're playing really fast, too. I can't see what they're doing. L Cam. L Cam. Is it not going to come back this time? There were two streams for this event, and the other one was much better, in my opinion. Where was the other stream at? Where was the other stream at? Because this one keeps goofing up. But they activate Ku Clock. Activate Big Welcome. Summon out Lady. Bounce back Ariana. Stovey special. Welcome set. Yep, special set. There's almost, like, no point of asking for responses. Like, just start resolving your cards, to be honest. Like, this is only, like, a minute, 30 seconds left. Volt on Twitch? Okay, one sec. I'll hop over to that one. But, 
Are they asking to see the graveyard or something? Is this going to end in a draw? It looks like it will be. Obviously, Quinton is thinking for about 30 seconds here if they want to activate their Sword Knight effect or not. Obviously taking their good old time because their win condition is the timer. You can see Lone getting salty here because their opponent's taking forever. Yep, go ahead and resolve it now. Personally, personally, me there, I'm calling Judge. Oh, God, I'm calling Judge. Because that was like 40 seconds to resolve that. And, like, when there's, like, no time left, that's literally the only way you win. Is if you keep doing that and take 40 seconds per play while still doing nothing. It's like, if that's the only way you can win, then I'm calling Judge. And also, at this point, you're never getting a turn. I'm going in the Chaos Angel. Oh, whoa, that was slick. There's no way that the bolt. There's no shot both players knew to do that. That was such a slick handshake. Look at that. They went... There's no shot. There's no shot. Every time I go to, like, give my opponent a fist bump, it ends up like this. And then I do this, and then they do that. It's like every time. There's no shot that they knew just to do that. 